Families who have a loved one living with a disability face different challenges every day and often forget about themselves while caring for their loved one. A self-care series looks to give those caregivers the tools they need to live a healthy lifestyle. And joining us this morning to discuss this week's upcoming series is Jenna helminski juve Good morning, Jenna. Hey, good morning. Well, thank you so much for being here and talking about this important self-care series, especially during uh, National Family Caregiver Month, which is so important to have that awareness. So tell us a little bit about Wednesday's series. Yeah, so um, this whole series overall is meant to support self-care strategies for caregivers. Caregiving is physically and mentally exhausting, and most of the time, uh, family caregivers aren't taking the time they need to care for themselves in order to continue doing what they need to to do for their loved ones. So we started this series this year in partnership with the Franciscan Spirituality Center. Um, we're co-hosting this event and each month we have just an hour of time that we um, caregivers get together and join us for sort of restorative and therapeutic programming. So um, this, this month, um, this week, it's going to be um, creating moments of joy. So finding those little moments and appreciating that time. Um, and last month it was um, restorative yoga, so just some really light, relaxing um, yoga meditative practices. And then next month we'll be doing some things with singing bowls. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, really cool stuff. So little things that I think make life a little bit easier, would you say? Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely, definitely. And you know, um, everyone's going to have their own thing, right? Not everyone's into yoga mm -hmm. or what have you, but um, part of this series is to kind of get people to try these things out. Try out a meditative practice. Try out, you know, taking some time away from your day to focus on the small things um, and see what works best for you. And, and if folks can't make it to this Wednesday's series, uh, where can they find additional resources, maybe more information uh, on, on how to be a healthy caregiver? Oh, they should be coming to the Aging and Disability Resource Center. They can call us, email, walk in. We're right downtown La Crosse. Um, you can also visit our website and we have a calendar of events there as well. Um, the Senior Life is our newsletter um, that typically we send out to seniors, older adults, and their caregivers. That's a place where we have a lot of our programming as well. Well, Jenna, we appreciate your time this morning and telling us a little bit about what folks can expect on Wednesday. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, and now we'll send it over to Alyssa.